Team Barefoot has reached the tournament final and become famous overnight. In a more sobering moment, Sean reveals how he came to be the controller of Shadow. Shadow was abandoned by player number 10, and he is the reason Shadow lost sight in his left eye. Team Barefoot arranges to have a friendly match with Ingus. After the match, Isaac tries to explain the meaning of happy football to them. We're here on such an important day, my little friend. You told me that Sean looks particularly <laughs> handsome when he's playing a match, so I came to see. Oh, hey, Aunt Betty. Thanks for coming. Isaac! I told you so many times not to call me Aunt Betty in public. What if it makes other people think I'm a spinster? <laughs> really? So she really is a spinster. No! I'm not a spinster. My name is Betty. Yes, yes of, course of course you are. It doesn't matter. Oh, We're in the final, so there must be a few people who are my fans here. Dream on. Just get huh? in line behind me. Just five more minutes, Mom. I'll get up. Wow, this is ridiculous. Over here, smile. Oh, me next. There's such no nothing. What's wrong, Cat? <laughs> Are you finished yet? Yeah. Ah! What do we do? Everyone, we're finished here. <laughs> Excuse me. Are you? Are you Isaac? I am. May I have your? Thank you. <laughs> Uh, wow, I have a fan. <laughs> Where are your fans, huh? What? I don't believe it! Did, Did Isaac pay you to do this? These must be our fans coming now. <laughs> yeah, they must be. Why are we left out of the time? Time. 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 No big, big deal. deal. He's, He's just, just a, a big ape. You're, You're a big ape. You're a big ape. All of you are big apes. <laughs> Welcome to the GTO National Tournament Final Match. This is it. You have made it to the big one. Congratulations. The two strongest GTO football teams in the country, Team Barefoot and the name of Devils, will play against each other here today. The best against the best! Go Barefoot! Since we have two elite teams here, let's invite the head controllers of both teams on stage with the rest of their members so they can greet everyone who came to support them. Welcome to our final teams! Go Barefoot! First, let's welcome Team Barefoot! I bet those cheers are for us. Yeah, there's so many fans, nobody can tell who they're really cheering for. Hey, wait, why are they so quiet? You guys need to be a lot louder! Let me hear you! Mix the name of devils! Wait a minute, uh, where's Tyrant? It looks like the name of Devils is missing a key controller, Tyrant. Let's cheer louder to get him on stage, folks. We want Tyrant! We want Tyrant! I can't believe that guy, like he's so popular. I hate all these stuck-up people. It seems Tyrant is too busy preparing for the match to come up on stage. All right then, let's invite the head controllers of both teams, Isaac and number 10, on stage together for a handshake. Isn't Tyrant supposed to be the head controller of the name of Devils? According to the information, number 10 is the head controller appointed by Tyrant. In reality, that means that Tyrant is the chief commander. Hmm. Hmm. Still using that useless goalkeeper, eh? Huh? 
On behalf of Barefoot, I'd like to thank you for discarding Shadow. Today, we're gonna prove to you that you made the wrong decision. <laughs> the final of GTO National Tournament is about to begin! Would both teams' controllers please take your places? Since this is the final match, the teams will be competing in the championship arena in the middle of the venue. There he goes, just reading and ignoring us again. Reading during a game? Does he think this is a library or something? What a drama queen! He's the king of drama queens! Huh. Don't worry, guys. I think I have a way to take him down a bit. Huh? huh? How, How so? so? Send Cat down here to imitate him reading a book. <laughs> oh, this comic book is so funny! <laughs> Thank you for explaining what ridiculous means again. Oh, you're welcome. Besides, Cat's not doing anything anyway, so I thought she could be of use somehow. <laughs> Uh, uh, Isaac, don't think uh, I can't read your big fat uh, lips, Beanie! Wow, how did she see that from there? Don't, don't make her any more angry, angry Isaac! <laughs> Get serious, guys. This match is about to begin. Someone better. I never knew that there was someone even louder than Cat. What did you uh, say? What do you think of the competition today, Mike? Well, although all the stats show that the name of Devils is stronger than Barefoot, Barefoot often performs unexpectedly. So, this will be a great match. Barefoot, I'm rooting for you. The match between Barefoot and the name of Devils has begun. The controllers will now choose to kick off all the direction of play. Well, it's heads. Referee, we choose tails! Excellent! We won the coin toss! So choose. Attack to the right! Attacking to the right! In the red uniforms will be Team Barefoot! Attacking to the left in the blue uniforms is the name of Devils. The GTO National Tournament is truly in its final stage. The winner will represent the country in the World Tournament. The two teams competing for the championship this time are both elites in GTO football. Who will win? The currently ruling the name of Devils or the tenacious team Barefoot? Anything could happen today. Everyone, let's watch and see. Mr. Controllers, please do your best. Mm -hmm. The match is about to begin. All right, teammates. No matter what the result is, we must give everything we have in every second of this match. All right, we will. Guys, don't just play your best. You gotta also play happily. Remember that, everyone. Remember. Huh? Go the Devils! Go the Devils! The final match of GTO National Tournament has started. 
The name of Devils is first to attack. Barefoot's formation is quite unique today. They only have satellite in the front field. Myth and Nucleus are assisting in defense. It is clearly a defensive style of play. Satellite, go! Will the name of Devils win a clear victory today like they did against Team Mirror last time by four goals? Now, Darkness, lure out the defense, then get past it. Nucleus is just trying to provoke you, maintain the formation, and ignore him. Will he pass the ball to Cracker or try to break through from the middle? Everyone, keep a heads up! That's right, the more they move, the better. Keep it up, guys. Our defense is going to force your magnetic core memories into overload. Noticed anything in particular about the name of Devil's strategy? Every one of their footballers is superior in capability, but after scoring so many goals in the first half, their magnetic core memories overloaded. Yeah, they act like they're just playing around with their opponents, but they're buying time for their footballers' core memories to rest. Most of their opponents didn't understand this, and after they got such a beating in the first half, they just gave up in the second. They never thought they had a chance to win. So your real fight with the name of Devils actually begins in the second half. What you should do in the first half is to completely wear them down. That should be your strategy to defeat them. Darkness and Nucleus are facing down each other. Myth isn't helping at all, and is even standing in front of the goal. Just be patient. We must carry out Isaacs and Sean's plan. <laughs> you want to block me? Practice for another 20 years. Why aren't you moving to block me? Are you too much of a coward? <laughs> you really aren't very confident in your useless goalkeeper, are you? What's the meaning of this? Do you need two goalkeepers? This is one way of defense. I have absolute confidence in Shadow. It doesn't matter what method we use. We just gotta keep them from scoring. <laughs> Who cares if you have ten goalkeepers? I can still score! All right, Darkness. Phantom Twister Strike! going to the back of the net. Just give up. No goalkeeper can save my phantom twister strike. Saved it! Saved it! What? How did he do that? All right, Shadow! All right, Shadow! All right, Shadow! 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 Working in tandem to stall the time while moving forward to intercept and took part of Phantom Twister Strike. This is going to be a real fight. We know this move. It won't work. Nice, Shadow. Incredible. Yeah, yeah that, that was awesome, awesome Shadow. Shadow. How did how did he save my Phantom Twister Strike? They improved Shadow's wrist. Thanks for strengthening his wrist, pal. <laughs> I did the calculations. No matter how strong his wrist may be, a GGO footballer can't possibly eliminate the spin and the shot with merely its hands. But you're the smart one. We saved the shot not only because of Shadow's wrist, but also because of your idea to have him save the shot in two stages. The first time we caught the ball, it was just to reduce the spin. And after Myth intercepted it, most of the spin had already been eliminated. Shadow's second save was the real save. We managed to pull off a triple block coordinated by two footballers. That was the perfect game plan. Impossible. Control the time! Pass the satellite! <laughs> satellite, heads up! You got this! Satellite is all you! Your real fight with the name of Devils begins in the second half. What you should do in the first half is completely wear them down. If we're going to exhaust him, then our key in the first half lies with Carl and his satellite. Me and satellite? Yes. Why is that? Because according to Uncle Bald, we must reserve our offensive power in the first half. I suggest we make Myth a defensive player to start. I agree that Myth should play defense in the first half. We're defending, not attacking? Or is Satellite the only one attacking? 
Yes, you're both right. You're leaving such an important match to me and Satellite? Uh... Because we need Satellite to use his strongest technique, and that's dribbling. Dribbling? Satellite is just going to dribble? That wastes even more energy. Why is that good? There are two advantages to it. First, if Satellite leads the attack in the first half, it will allow Myth to conserve most of his power so that he can unleash it in the second half of the game. Second, satellite strength is dribbling, so that if he can get past two or even three of them at once, they will certainly use their signature moves to try and stop him. And that is going to wear out their magnetic core memory even more. Yeah, that's right. So satellite just has to concentrate on this job in the first half. Then he can leave things to myth. Uh... Satellite, now remember that your aim is not so much to attack, but to lure them into using more of their fancy moves so he can increase the burden on their magnetic core memory. Got it! Satellite! Myth and Shadow both did great just now by saving that goal. We can't let them down! I know you can do it! Hey, come on, don't be so nervous. Here, why don't you have a bite of this hot dog to relieve your stress? Don't get in my way! Satellite, use gravity dribble! Gravity dribble! Get the ball back quickly! Satellite, it's all up to you! Right! The opponent's skills are so intricate, superior to us technically. Satellite, don't let us down! Carl, don't give Satellite so much pressure. Satellite, get out if you can't pass them! Only focus on keeping hold of the ball! Satellite can't get past exterminate and has moved sideways. Destroyer, Phantom Sickle Tackle! Satellite, are you alright? It's now Phantom Sickle Tackle? <laughs> Drucker, it's your turn to play with them. What is he trying to do? Titan, jump up and block the opening! What an incredible tactic! By simply bouncing the ball straight up from the ground, they're able to quickly figure out whether or not the football is going to jump up to block it. When the ball bounces straight up, if Titan doesn't jump, Cracker can take a shot in mid-air. If Titan jumps up, then Cracker can head the ball downwards like he just did. It's a devastating tactic. It doesn't just lure the enemy in. The aim of the header is also very accurate. Oh, oh no, look! Darkness again takes close to the goal. Will Myth move up this time? If he won't come out to play with us, then we need to force him to. He is very close to the goal now, and has no intention of shooting! Is he trying to get past the goalpost? Huh? What, is, what he is he doing? doing? Come on, Myth, you gotta stop him! That's right. Don't let him get too close to the goal to shoot, Myth. Myth is moving. Both key footballers face up for the first time. Who will win? Phantom Twister Dribble! It's a new signature move! Darkness has transformed his Phantom Twister Strike into Phantom Twister Dribble and has now passed him. It must take a lot of practice to be able to create such a powerful spin. That player has my respect. Oh no, he's gonna shoot! Phantom Twister Strike! Phantom Twister and now it's a strike! Once again, it's Phantom Twister striking! Close range! Smith, hurry! Get back to the goal! He won't make it! It's too close! You gotta catch it in one go! but not the second time. The name of Devils finally scored the first goal using Phantom Twister Strike. Oh no!
Come on, Barefoot, don't give up just yet. This shot was too close for them to be able to make a triple block. Everybody cheer up. We didn't do badly at all just now. They just made one great shot. Don't lose confidence. Come on, guys, we'll get it back. I know it. We're losing, Isaac. Where's this optimism coming from? Have you lost it? Don't you guys remember what I said right before the match? If we're gonna win, then we have to be playing happy football. Uh -huh. Uh -huh.